let's look at the facts. It is early days, but according to the IMF, the UK economy is expected to recover to pre-COVID levels by mid-2022, based on 6% growth this and next year, compared to a partial annual 4% EU recovery. And while UK long-term unemployment should average 2% next year, it is 4.2% for the Eurozone. Simply by leaving, the UK is now saving 14 billion euros in terms of budget contributions each year, 17 billion for the Shore Unemployment Programme, and a staggering 140 billion gross contributions for non-participation in next generation EU. Britain's relative success is manifest, above all, in its vaccination programme. 70% of all UK adults have been vaccinated, three times as many as in the Eurozone. As a result, life is returning to normal in the UK, while many EU countries remain locked down. If Brexit is a success, it will be the beginning of the unravelling of the EU. This was, and remains, the view of many here. Well then, Brexit seems, at least initially, a success, and the historic mistake may have been the Euro. Today, more people, more British people think Brexit was the right choice, more than the 52% who voted for it. The EU too has a choice. Either it reforms, focuses again on trade and commerce, and it may succeed again or its leaders continue down the path of saving the planet and of integrating our continent by de-Europeanizing it, then it will fail. It will fail no matter what, either as an integrated superstate lingering on as a vast stagflation zone, or it will falter with one half-solvent country after another taking heart from Britain's proof that life is possible outside the EU after all. And with modern Germany left as the last member standing like a blinded cyclop raging, whose fault is it? The answer, of course, was given by Odysseus. Nobody but yourself. Generosity over Northern Ireland will be a good point a good way to start reform. The withdrawal agreement is hampering UK imports and has led to violence in Belfast. Let's respect the Belfast agreement in full and let's have a soft Irish and a soft Irish sea border. Thank you for your attention.